Hi there. Addiction is the ugly beast that lurks in the dark corners of society. It can rear its head anywhere, and even the top echelons of legal education are not immune to the devastating effects addiction can have on individuals and those around them. It's just getting really out of hand. He does it in plain view. It's like he doesn't even know that it's a problem. It's getting to the point where his addiction is affecting my learning and the learning of everyone else as well. I'm just, I'm really worried about him. He's, he's barely eaten, he hasn't slept. He just, he really, really needs help. Thank you everyone for coming here today. We're here today to discuss a very important and serious problem faced by a dear friend of ours. We're here to discuss Peter Black's Twitter addiction. Look, it's always good to use social media to try and engage students, but this is going too far. We knew it was a problem when he live tweeted his Christmas day. Peter, uh, we're here today to talk about your your Twitter addiction. Do you realise that your excessive tweeting is beginning to harm those around you? I really don't see how it's a problem. It's just a new way of engaging and connecting with people. It's just another form of communication. There have been a lot of concerns yeah. and from troubled students and staff members and friends. Well, I don't think they necessarily appreciate that we have to use these new forms of communication to be able to engage with students. We have to use these sleek, sophisticated forms of technology to be able to connect and share our spread and, and share and spread our love of the law. Plus, to be honest, I think with my colleagues, they're just jealous that I have more Twitter followers than they do. I even have more than the Dean. Fucking amateur. We were at the Gabba one day, right? Fantastic game. And Peter decides he has to go because he can't find a stable phone connection. It had nothing to do with the lack of Wi-Fi. There was simply a family emergency that I had to attend to. I know what you mean, though. He won't even go down to level one of the car park because the Wi-Fi drops out. It's got nothing to do with the black hole of Wi-Fi. It's just so claustrophobic down there. Concrete is really just mud when you think about it. He's just fucking hashtagging everything. I mean, he's just hashtag me now, hashtag potty mouth. I mean, seriously, what the fuck? Peter, as you can see, there are a lot of people here who just want you to get better. Peter, are you, are you tweeting right now? No, no, I'm, I'm Facebooking, it's totally different. Peter, may I please have the phone? So how do you feel now? Um, yeah, yeah, um, I'm okay. Peter, are you tweeting again? No, no, look, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I have to go, it's an academic emergency, I'm sorry. Despite being constantly in my presence, Peter managed to tweet 11 times during that interview. There is no overnight cure for addiction, but we are confident that with persistence and love, Peter can make his way to a full recovery. Luckily, we were able to download Grindr onto Peter's phone to help ease him off his Twitter use. Thank you for joining us. Stay safe out there.